You are probably not going to agree with the choices I'm about to make, but I'm going to rank every brawler in Brawl Stars on how fun they are to play. Also, today's video is sponsored by Warner Brother Games. More on that in a minute. So let's start off with the basics here. A brawler that's in the very middle, like the C tier, this is just like, they're not really fun to play. They're not boring to play. They're just kind of meh. A brawler that's like up here in like the A tier, is like super fun to play. Not like my mind exploded from excitement on S tier, but like really fun to play. And that would be Cordelius. However, on the flip side of things, down here near the bottom, if you get a brawler like say the other newest brawler, Doug, this is boring to play. F is like just mind numbing to play. And uh, actually now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna move him down because I just don't think he's a fun brawler to play. I love his character and he walks hilariously funny, but I don't think he's a very fun brawler to play for me. Uh, and then there's brawlers that are just crazy fun to play, which the easy one here is Crow. For me, Crow is the best. He's, he's so much fun to play. He's quick, he's really dynamic, jumps in. For me, Crow is ridiculously fun to play. However, I think I'm gonna make some decisions that you guys uh, aren't, aren't so happy about. For some reason, for some reason, I find Mr. P kind of fun to play. It's kind of weird, but it's just what I think. So I don't know if you like that last ranking that I just made, but I know you're going to like today's sponsor from Warner Brother Games, a brand new title that is honestly a really good game. Harry Potter Magic Awakened is a huge new RPG where you are a new student at Hogwarts studying to become a wizard or a witch. After you're sorted into your house, you get to explore the castle and its surroundings, attend classes to expand your magical knowledge, get some Quidditch practice, dance in social club, test your knowledge with trivia, or my favorite thing to do, duel. You build your deck from spells in your collection and then unleash them on your opponent. There are a lot of different spells that you can choose from, from ones that summon monsters, deal direct damage, control enemy movements, or even heal and shield yourself. You'll travel into the Forbidden Forest to gain resources and level up these spells to grow your spell book in power and you can do this solo or with friends as well the game allows you freedom to do what you enjoy the most and play the way you want to and with that you can customize your character your dormitory your clothes your wand and much more the art style is unique and polished from the interactive cutscenes to the entire environment surrounding you you're going to see every detail the controls are simple smooth and very easy to understand yet the gameplay offers a lot of depth in battle harry potter magic awakened is now available worldwide for download on ios and android follow the link in the description below to download thanks again to warner brothers games for sponsoring today's video a brawler that is definitely less fun to play than normal would be hank i think hank is just incredible incredibly boring to play. I don't like him at all. You know what? I'm, I'm doing this. Just a second. I'm just going to name this category the I'd rather. I would rather watch my grandma sit in a recliner asleep than play Hank. Just saying. I find Penny actually pretty fun to play. She's again, She's got. I think it's because she's got a lot of stuff going on. Her gadgets, her super does stuff as well, and her shots and the splashes, just a lot of stuff going on. Here's one that's going to be controversial. Morris. I, I know most of you would probably put him way up here in the S tier, and he is fun to play except he's really hard to play well is it really fun to just get dunked on non-stop so like if you're a really good player morris player i bet you he's up here but this is my list and i'm gonna put him at p tier i don't think he's fun to play another fan favorite we got here is edgar I'm gonna be real. Not only is Edgar a trash brawler, one of, if not the worst brawler in the meta, but to me, I don't find him very fun to play simply because you can't do anything until you get your super. It sucks. In fact, I'd rather sit in a waiting room for three hours waiting for my doctor's appointment than wait around for Edgar's super. A brawler I do like though is Piper. I like long range brawlers. I think they're fun to play. And Piper, even though it's like, there's nothing like incredibly crazy about her kit, I find her like an A tier brawler. I think she's really fun to play. Even more more so than that is gray his teleport is so much fun and the plays that you can make because of it i'm putting him in s tier i think gray is in terms of fun gray is an s tier brawler Bo, however is just eh. i think he's slightly lower than average i mean his minds are kind of cool but you just kind of throw him down and forget about him and hope that, that somebody's stupid enough to blow him up i mean that 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 person's that, that 
but that person's usually me. Also not that great as Sam. I know that the whole thought of Sam is you literally just run people down and it's just nonstop action and that's fun in its own little way. Other than that, I just, uh, oh. I think I'm gonna put him in F tier. Sorry, I know a lot of you really enjoy him, but that's just not me. But look at Buzz. He's got a very similar-ish play style to Edgar, but for some reason, Buzz is way more fun than Edgar is. Just Buzz can wreak havoc better than Edgar, I guess. Now Carl could be like C tier, but I think that he's slightly above that. I think he's slightly above that. I'm gonna place him right here for now. Jesse is the most middle of the road brawler that you can think of, because she's just kind of meh, you know? Gene is also like, he's a long range brawler. Let me scratch my ear. Gene is a long range brawler and I like playing long range brawlers. However, I don't like playing Gene. It's like the only fun part about him is hooking somebody. That's fun. Other than that, it's like chip, 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 chip. Chips. It's like we're Frito Lays over here, man. B is also another long range brawler, but I find her, again, right in the middle. She does a lot of damage with that 3k shot, and that's fun to see that hit. And like when tanks are trying to run you down, just cycling on them, I feel like I should rate her higher. But for me, I just kind of like, meh. I like playing her, but it's not insane. You know what? No, I I've talked myself into it. I'm going to move her up to B, because she is slightly more exciting than just, you know, nondescript. Jackie, however. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Jackie. I would rather prepare my taxes than to play with Jackie. That's how bad Jackie is. It's brainless to play her. Fang, however, is a lot of fun. His super is so good. His gadgets are good. I'm going to have to give him like a high A tier. I really like playing Fang. Brock is probably my second favorite brawler. And I know that it seems like he shouldn't be any more exciting than Piper, but there's just something about him. I think it's maybe his gadgets. His super is tons of fun to rain down rockets. I'm putting him right behind Crow in S tier because I think Brock Brock is a ton of fun to play. Willow, <sighs> I mean, it's fun when you get that moment of like using the enemy to score a goal on themselves, but yeah. Janet's another one of those brawlers that I can't, how her shot takes so long to load. I hate it. She's a very good brawler. I hate playing her. It's just, it's it's agony to me. It's not so much down here. She can fly. I, I mean, I'll keep her out of the F just because she can fly. But here, my friends, you guys are going to absolutely riot on me for this next decision. I can already feel the rage emanating from the screen right now as you guys see me rank tick. Here's the deal. This is a ranking on how fun the brawler is to play, not on how annoying they are to play against. If that was the case, he would be down here. I would have to create like three more categories lower. This is how fun he is to play. And I'll be honest, I like oh, playing brother, tick. brother, this guy stinks! I hate playing against him, but I like playing him. I'm going to put him in A tier. I like playing Tick. My dirty little secret is now exposed to the world. I like a plain Tick. Also another brawler that I actually really like playing, but is annoying to play against is Squeak. I don't know what it is. I really enjoy playing Squeak. It's a very control style and I dig it. What I don't dig is playing Mandy though. The coolest thing about Mandy is that she can shoot further, but to do that, you have to just stand there. How is that fun? It's not. She's F tier. That's what. But on the other end of the spectrum is Daryl. Like how you can get your super so quick. I love him. Daryl is great to play and Daryl deserves S tier, no doubt. One that's more kind of in the middle here is Colonel Ruffs. Like he's got some cool abilities. His shots bounce, dropping the bombs from the sky. He doesn't feel exciting for some reason. He's just, he's just average to play. He's not super fun. He's not super boring. A brawler that is pretty boring to play, however, is Bell. People are like, hey, let's go to a baseball game. And I love baseball. I'll play baseball up through college. But to go watch a game in person, it's fun to play, but it's not fun to watch. I feel like I'm watching baseball with Bell. I feel like I should be more excited. I should be having more fun. Bell doesn't feel super exciting to be. She's not down here, but she's below average to me. Also, BB. I know a lot of you love BB, and I get it. I, I get annoyed playing BB. Maybe it's because I think, how can I be this bad? Something about the difficulty of playing her? I don't know, man. What I do know, however is that Frank is an absolute cesspool to play. I would rather watch grass grow than to play Frank in Brawl Stars. Just saying. But I'm not picking on all the short range brawlers because Bull, even though he's not a very good brawler right now and hasn't been for well, quite a while, I still think that Bull is fun to play. Does a ton of damage, can charge across the map and stop yourself at will, do big damage on, say, he's a, he's a fun brawler to play. He's just not very good. A brawler that is pretty decent, but to me is boring, is Amber. I railed on Jackie for pressing one button. However, Amber, you just hold down one button. F tier, she's just not that great to play. Rico, however, is interesting. You get to use angles and mathematics. That's
No, I'm just joking. I think that Rico is actually pretty fun to play, but I'm going to put him in the B tier because I think he's more fun than normal. Also, Cole, I want to put him higher, but the fact that he's really hard to play very well, I'm going to put him in the B tier. Brawler that is fun, however, Chester. I'm going to put him way up here. I think Chester is a blast to play. His supers are different all the time. He's interesting. He's fun. He's got amazing voice lines. He is a ton of fun to play. Not above Cordelius, but he's still a ton of fun to play. Another brawler that's really not very great in the meta, but I think is a ton of fun to play, is El Primo. He's not a great brawler, but you have a blast of a time when you play him. But I'm not going to rethink my next decision because Shelly, now before her speed buff, she would have been down here probably, like D or F. It wasn't very fun to play, but speed is so much fun. And I'm glad that she's very fast for new players that come in because it's a lot of fun, which I think really helps. I got to move her all the way up into the A tier. That just, it makes sense. It, it does. However, what doesn't make sense is the, how much I like Gus as a brawler, but I think he's just kind of blah to play. You can't go wrong picking Gus. He's just not super exciting to play. Dynamite, however, would be a horrible choice. A horrible choice to pick first, but he is fun to play more fun than tick more fun than buzz i think that he's right there with el primo in terms of fun byron however i don't enjoy playing byron it's a very slow play style and it's a support play style some of you really like that i personally don't i i'm, I'm sorry he's just eh. but you know what feel good byron because at least you're not rosa i would rather be stuck in traffic than to play rosa it's true 8-bit you think would be dull but even though he's slow he's kind of fun to play he teleports a lot of fun too i think overall 8-bit's kind of fun to play even though he is slow grom is one of those brawlers that are just kind of like blah and the same thing goes for ems you know what ems might even be less fun to play no i think she's like right in the middle she does a lot of damage she's got a kind of a cool shot she's definitely not exciting lou ah i kind of think he's right there with her too it's just kind of like one of those meh meh categories but Maisie I think is a little bit above meh she's not a great brawler but she's got a little escape she's got the big super her shots are kind of annoying but I think that overall she's a fun brawler to play even if she's not the best Nani however only has one thing going for her that makes her fun and that's her super I think for that she can get out of the C tier into the B tier however one brawler that will go way above that is Leon Leon's just fun to play is he a very great brawler in the meta no no. Who doesn't like going invisible and showing up to assassinate somebody? I mean, not in real life, obviously. But Leon is a ton of fun to play, even if he's not the best brawler. Colette, however... I don't like playing Colette. I think that she is just a snooze fest to play. I know her super like goes across the map and she's really good in modes like heist, but I just don't find her fun to play. This is my list. You can disagree with me in the comments, but Spike, I think is fun to play, which is kind of weird because he's annoying to play against, but I think that I'm going to put him up here in between squeak. This is an odd trio right here. Most people are probably yelling at me for this right here. I also think that Otis is pretty fun to play. Silence is an assassin who comes after you. That's just satisfying. Buster is a brawler that would have been really high up on this list when he was released. However, in his current state, with all of his nerfs, his shield doesn't last as long. The cool things about Buster got nerfed pretty hard, but I think B tier is okay for him. Griff, he's kind of fun to play. I mean, you're throwing coins. You got a big super that does a lot of stuff. I don't think he's quite A tier, but I do like, I, I like playing him more than 8-bit, less than Colt. Ash, He's got a lot of stuff going for him. I just don't like to play him. He's like a mini version of Frank. Frank's worse, obviously, but Poco is weird. Why do I like playing Poco? He's not an exciting brawler, but for some reason, I have fun playing him. It just, I do. I'm going to put him up in B tier, but it's at the very bottom because I, ha I have to understand that I know he's not a super exciting brawler, but for some reason, I like playing him. Pam? She's just meh. Nita is like also the definition of like meh because her normal shot is blah. Tara is a little bit above average, I think, because for her super alone, I'm going to put her into there. Where does she fall in here? Uh, Right there. I'm going to go right there. Sprout, I think that he's below. Now I'm going to put him in D tier. He's just not very fun to play. It's so frustrating when somebody gets close to you and it's so hard to hit your shots because of the way his shot works and you try to bounce it off walls to hit them. And I mean, it's fun to troll your teammates. Maybe back up to C. Lola, I'm just going to put him. I'm, she's just average. Surge, however. All right, Surge is a fun, fun fun brawler to play. I might even like him more than Daryl. I think Surge is so dynamic. He's got a super that can jump over walls. He's got a broken gadget, that stupid shield gadget that gives him his ammo back. He's just a crazy fun brawler to play and he deserves S tier. RT, oh man, I feel like RT should have been more fun, but his main shot is hard to hit. Um, Eve, 
I think is a little bit above average, but not by much. I'm gonna put her at the very, very bottom. Barley is pretty fun. He's not like, super exciting, but he's above normal. Bonnie is also like, I think I put her high. Her main cannon form is a little sluggish, so I'm gonna dock some points for that. Meg, even after the ridiculous change that they made to her in her big form, she's still not gonna crack way up on the list because they're not exciting. Gail, C tier. He's just in the middle. Max, super speed, lots of fun. A tier? No, I think I'm gonna have to put him in her B tier. And then finally, Stu. He, you know what? I would rather put him into S tier because he deserves it. Stu is too good not to be in S tier. So, so this is my list. We've got the I'd rather's. You know, I'd rather sit through a lecture on the various types of sand than play these brawlers. I'd rather stand in queue at a post office than play these brawlers. I'd rather watch paint dry. I'd rather watch grass grow. I'd rather sit in a waiting room at a doctor's office for three hours. I'd rather watch my grandma sleep in a recliner than to play Hank. These brawlers are about as exciting as a rice cake. So do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I don't know, but there's one thing that you can't disagree with, and that's how fun our sponsor today is. The link is going to be in the description down below. You guys go download Harry Potter Magic Awaken. It's a ton of fun, and big thanks to Warner Brother Games for sponsoring today's video. That's it, and as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.